just today is very mixed. Some folks incredibly positive, some folks very negative. Those who are negative, I replied that this is a constitutional question, and clearly it had been established that it is constitutional, and the Constitution obviously becomes, it is Constitution and country over party. Uh, for some, they get it, and for others, they're not quite so sure, but that's to be expected. This does not predict my vote on anything else. It does predict that I will listen to these arguments as I did to the arguments yesterday with an open mind. Mike Braun said Senator Cassidy voting to move ahead with impeachment trial, quote, after that, when you have one senator that changed a point of view, I think that says a lot. So I think pretty well fixes in place what you might see as the eventual outcome. Regardless of what happens this week, how do I feel about 2024? Would I continue to support um, President Trump in 2024? Well, he have, he, if he's not convicted and, and not impeached, then of course he'd have the opportunity to run. That to me raises another question, which is why are Democrats so concerned about having him on the ballot four years from now? Clearly, he surprised them once. They think that maybe, that maybe they think he could surprise them again. Talk about, in fact, I can have many Republicans say, well, Bill Clinton was never punished for his crimes. Well, I think in politics there is this punishment. It's called losing elections, and um, or it's called you know losing your bar license. Or it was a coup attempt, an effort to overthrow the government and stop democracy from working. The founders' worst nightmare. And that's why this high crime was among the most heinous that any public official could commit. What we will see is that Donald Trump not only incited this riot and insurrection, but also then as commander in chief did nothing to save our democracy. The long run lesson here is not only about January 6th or about Donald Trump. Domestic terrorism bulletin has said it is a real threat to our democracy.